So one thing I've been asked a bunch of times is to kind of talk about the Thousand Day campaign. A lot of people are excited for this and hype about this, and probably for good reason, man. It's always nice to see campaigns roll around, especially these types of milestones and stuff like that. So if you've been playing since day one, like I have, not for me, but for you, go ahead and pat yourself on the back real quick uh, through all the ups and downs you've been here. And uh, yeah, so we are past 1,000 technically. Uh, the game did have a soft launch in places like the Netherlands and stuff like that, and then it was out on Android before it was out on iOS, so it's, it was kind of really wonky. I remember them saying just ahead of the one-year anniversary, they didn't know what date they wanted to actually be the anniversary day because of all those different factors, right? So that's a little funny little Easter egg, I guess, for you guys for year one of Legends, right, if you weren't playing back then. But anyways, today's video is all about this. There was a video and stuff announced as well, so we will be most likely going live for that. Keep an eye out on your, uh, keep an eye out for your sub box, excuse me, because if I'm going live, I should have that scheduled and you'll see it and uh, it'll be at the exact time that this goes up this video so anyways hope you guys enjoy this video hit the thumbs up subscribe of course if you are new to the channel for more content as well as the notification click it make sure that it says all as opposed to personalized as well today's video like goal is going to be 1500 a little bit lax there in terms of uh in terms of our normal goals and on top of that if you guys enjoy these videos be sure to let me know other things it doesn't have to be related to this specifically other things you want to hear me talk about on the channel i'm looking for more discussion topics etc Okay, so this was announced. It is coming out tomorrow, for the record. This is coming out tomorrow. Again, I will be live, most likely. <laughs> so, uh, video and stuff, they say in this announcement, video and stuff number 12 coming soon. The episode will feature new character info, plus details on a brand new game mode so they did announce in i believe video and stuff for number 11 that they were working on a new game mode and it was going to be different than what we're accustomed to with legends and things of that nature and i'm excited to see what this winds up being i believe i speculated at the time like ways it could wind up being really different and i'm hoping that it's like i don't care what it is like if it's like a turn-based simulator or like whatever the case is something afk i don't care as long as it's well i guess that wouldn't really count as much anyways as long as it's not the same exact gameplay for one, I love Dokkan. <laughs> you know, I don't do as much content on it. That's for a different topic. But one thing that I, they are notorious for and have always been notorious for, aside from one attempt at something different, was creating the same content but kind of masking it differently and kind of saying it's like a new mode or whatever it's not really new if you just put a new pretty ui around it but the same gameplay same concept is the same right i'm hoping legends does not do that i don't want to see that um because this is more of the same if they do that so i'm hoping it's something entirely different like some people were talking about that uh that um april fools um uh, what was it? The April Fool's uh, race car motor. That'd be really dope. That was for April Fool's. I doubt that's what this is, but that would be really dope if they did something different like that, right? So anyways, also want to note, it says new character info as opposed to new characters. Most of the time, if I recall correctly, they would put that uh, plural on there as, as opposed to the singular. So uh, just going to throw out that most of the time, this week should be a Zenkai week. They typically alternate between new character releases one week and then a Zenkai the next week and then new characters the next week. And then the following week after that, Zenkais, you get the point. So technically, this week should be a Zenkai, right? So unless we get an announcement for something through the Twitter or something like that, uh, tonight, which I don't know if we will, probably not, who knows. But unless we get something like that, it's possible that uh, it could just be a Zenkai they're showing. And most of the announcement is for the new game mode. So here it is, uh, the Thousand Day campaign. They talked about it. We've been doing the run up to the Thousand Day campaign already. And I'm going to just kind of jump in. So typically when it comes to Legends, um, whatever content we have is more or less what the big celebration is going to be for if you've seen my predictions for the year one videos or my predictions for other things like year two like most of the stuff i've thrown out there has been pretty spot on i believe year one it was like multiple themes and i still hit both of them like it was really interesting so that being said most of what they do you can kind of tell and, to and toshi alluded to this in video and stuff i believe 10 he said hey you know we kind of hint at what we're doing and long story short if that is to hold true uh ignore ui for the most part he, he's irrelevant in this he's more or less your bait to pull on this banner kid boo and vegeta are here now that would mean that keeping with the theme most likely 
the content for Thousand Days is going to be centered around the Boo Saga. Now, the problem with that theory is typically there's a lot of banners that kind of run up to that following the same theme. You'll see like a bunch of characters from one tag getting buffed or released or from one part of the story, like all Dragon Ball Super characters, for example. Like when they dropped Bergamo, uh, Lavender, and Basil, it was like, okay, Jiren's right around the corner. And that was what happened, right? Jiren and UI, people were super apprehensive. No, it's too soon for UI. No. And if Jiren's coming, he's coming with UI and he's coming with his boys. He's not coming by himself. So that's exactly what happened, right? So they do that a lot. And this time, you really kind of don't have that outline. There's The most recent banners have, have not been that, right? You had the, the future stuff here. Of, I guess technically future, but the more Android stuff regen stuff etc um and there's not really a ton of new content like we do have this and i want to say that the v jump did say for the record that there is a demon king piccolo that is coming i believe he was the only new character that was announced but there is a uh, older demon king piccolo i believe coming so that's also going to be dragon ball sagas based stuff i mean there's an off chance this video isn't going to show us new characters specifically for the campaign. Just going to throw that out there. There's an off chance the video is not going to show a thousand day uh, character, right? It could just be King Piccolo. And again, it's going to be a short video and the main focus is just a new game mode. That is entirely possible. And I would not at all be surprised if that's the case now that I think about it. But if it is thousand day campaign, I want to kind of allude back to Dokkan. When it hit 1,000 days on that game forever ago now, uh, 2017, guys. 2017. <laughs> this game's been out for forever. Um, anyways, they released a 1,000 days Goku that was uh, a Spirit Bomb Goku. So that's pretty awesome to see. Now, keeping the theme of Boo Saga, I wouldn't be surprised if they decided to drop a Goku that's new, that does a Spirit Bomb, or Zenkai, one of the Spirit Bomb Gokus that exists in the game. Now, this character has been ignored endlessly. He has been in the game since like the first or second season of PvP, has never gotten a balance change when that was a thing, never got a Zenkai since that's been a thing. He's been ignored grossly. And I asked um, <laughs> directly what the plan is with this guy, and they said they haven't forgot about him. So I'm, I'm still waiting for that to come to fruition. They know about this dude. They know people want to see him awaken, and they know he could potentially be a really cool option for players. And last but not least, he's been in the game for forever. Like, he's like the oldest character, I think, that hasn't been buffed to some degree ever, right? So if he were to get a Zenkai, I think a lot of people will be happy with that. He still has, like, this pose is still, I think, unique only to him. He still has some cool stuff in here. And uh, he could be really good, man. I, I think he could be really good. He'd be really fun as well. Still the only Goku that actually does, I think, this variation of Spear Bomb directly on a special move. Like, there are other Spear Bomb Gokus that, like, throw away. Like, the what is it? The one Arm Spear Bomb Goku, the Absorb Spear Bomb Goku. Like, there are different variations. There's this dude's ultimate. I, I have him up because he's my next talking point. But I think there's still some uniqueness with this Goku. So he doesn't fit the theme of Boo Saga. Just going to throw that out there. He doesn't fit that theme, obviously. He is from uh, Planet Namek. And uh, that being said, he doesn't fit that theme. But I wouldn't be surprised if they did give him a Zenkai. Now, a character that does fit that theme, that does need a Zenkai, <laughs> people are not going to love this idea. Um, if, if this dude gets a Zenkai, for the record, I don't know if Piccolo has returned enough times to, to be ready. I, if he's getting a Zenkai next, for example, I think his Zenkai is probably at least a month away. At least a month away. Because I, Piccolo needs to go through a full cycle in the Rush Exchange uh, to get to Zenkai 7 first. I don't know if Piccolo's been able to do that yet. Uh, I think this is maybe his second cycle. Uh, anyways, that being said, he's got to go through the full cycle of 7 if they're following the same thing they did with Goku and Gohan and making those characters acquirable there that way. So this dude's Zenkai is probably at least a month away, but... I don't know, man. Crazier things have happened in Legends. I wouldn't be surprised. This dude needs it. He fits the theme perfectly. He got the You Are Number One Vegeta recently released, which is like, what? You know? I, I think it would make a lot of sense. I really wouldn't be surprised. I again, people aren't going to love it. <laughs> people are going to be mad at it, in fact. But I really wouldn't be surprised. Aside from the Zenkai characters, I, I, I pointed that out because it is supposed to be a Zenkai week. Um, new character release... I don't, and last thing I'll say is, I don't think they'll go wrong if they decide to drop another, like, Super Vegito. I guess Super Vegito also could, could be a list on the Zenkai as well. I mean, he doesn't fit this part of the story, but he's a part of the arc nonetheless. Anyways, a new Super Vegito, something like that, I think could be on the horizon if they're sticking to this in terms of the Thousand Day campaign. But again, there, it, this doesn't necessarily have to be a new character for the campaign. Again, it could be just the King Piccolo. He should be coming out. 
most of the time the v-jump stuff is like three weeks ahead of the actual release of the character which would mean he's supposed to come out in a few weeks now so i, I don't know but we'll see that it crazier things have happened like i said let me know what you guys think. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let me know again down below what you guys want to see discussed. And uh, this one's interesting because I can say uh, pretty, pretty, you know, comfortably that the last couple of video and stuffs and what they've been doing has been a bit more confusing. I'm going to have to kind of ask about that. Like, are they are they pissed off with the community knowing? I don't know, but it's been a little bit more confusing, a little harder to pinpoint, which I'm cool with. I don't mind that. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video.